the sum of a geometric series. You will find this on page 218 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The sum of a geometric series. For a geometric sequence with first term A and common ratio R, the sum of the n terms is given by is in a bracket 1 minus r to the power n 1 minus r that is if r is smaller than 1 so it's almost like the biggest one will stand in front so if 1 is the biggest one it stands in front but if r is bigger than 1 then the r's will stand in front but very very important can i just show you this is not correct you cannot say um, yeah, let's, well, let me just. You cannot say like this, r in minus 1 and then 1 minus r. If you start with the r's, this must be also r. And if you start with the 1's, then this must also be 1. So this is incorrect. Okay, determine the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric series. Okay, so there it is. So first find the value of r. a is 6, r is Two. So, so R is the biggest, so it's going to stand in front. It, it's not going to be incorrect if you use this. It just makes that you work with negative numbers and that you can make a mistake, but it will give you the same final answer. Okay, so basically it's just substitution. Be careful again because you're working with indices and then you will get this answer. So stop the video and do try now 49. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. So this is going to be 50. 50 multiply 4 over 5. 50 multiply 4 over 5 square. Okay, so the value of A is 50. Now, if I want to find R, now don't forget, this is T1, this is T2, this is T3. Now, um, they say it's geometrical, so we can just do one. So just say T2 divide T1. I think that's the simplest. So it's 50 multiply 4 over 5 divide by 50. Cancel, cancel. The value of R will be 4 over Five. That will be the answer. Okay, of R. And then in, what is the in? It's 12 terms. So in is 12. And I must find S12. What is S12? So start with the formula. So say T, no, not T. We are busy with series. So S in. Now look at R. It's smaller than 1. So 1 will stand in front. So S in equals A. Put the 1's in front. Oh, it's just to help you with the calculation. So in the place of A, it's 50. And then 1 minus 4 over 5. And don't forget, we are busy getting 12. So this is 12. And that's 1 minus 4 over 5 and that will give me 50 and now I'm just going to simplify that so it's just going to be 1 minus oh, let's just get my pen correct minus 0 0.8 you can just use your calculator and 1 minus it's 1 minus 0 0.8 so it's actually 0 0.2 Okay, so press this on your calculator. You can say 50 bracket 1 minus, you can put a bracket again, 0 0.8, close the bracket to the power, that's to the power 12, close the bracket, equals divide 0 0.2. And your final answer will be 2, 3, 3, and that's if you approximate it to three significant figures. Okay, let's move on.
How many terms of this series must be added to give a sum of 5115? Okay, so again, find first your value of R. So R is 2, so the R's will stand in front. Okay, and again, put it in the place of SN. Okay, so you simplify there. Uh, luckily, this is 1, so you end up there. Uh, divide 5, divide 5. And now you can either use indices or you can lose, use locks. There I showed you the lock method. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 50 and you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So let's just start. It's 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus one, two, three, and that um, gives a sum. So don't don't write it. It's not a term. It's going to give you a sum. So let's draw this. Say, okay, S N equals one oh two two. A equals two. Uh, this is T one, T two, T three. So this. R is equal to 2, 2, divide T1 equals 4 over 2, which will give me 2. Okay, now I'm going to start, and I just want to see uh, the value of N. I'm looking for N. Okay, so let's start. So is N, because R is 2, it's biggest, so I'm going to say A r to the power of n, put the r's in front, r minus 1. So in the place of a it's 2, in the place of r it's 2, okay don't forget, um, sn, sn is 1, 0, 2, 2. So I don't know that one, but I know I subtract 1, and then I know it's 2 minus 1. Then I simplify, so it's 1022 equals 2. I'm just going to, that's just 1. So it's 2n minus 1. Then I divide 2 and I divide 2. So in this case, it's going to be 511 equals 2. Oh, let's just get that. 2n minus 1. So it's 511 plus 1 equals to n. So it's 512 equals to n. Okay, and if I do it with locks, break it up into prime factors, then I'm just going to move this. Then it's going to be, remember prime factors is that, where you just do that and you start dividing. So then it's going to be 2 to the power of 9 equals, always use indices if you can, Okay, otherwise go for logs, but usually it will be with indices because n must be a whole number. So then the value of n will be 9. So l must be added to give, so 9 terms must be added to give a sum of 1022. Okay, let's look at this one. In the geometrical series, find the smallest value of n for which the nth term is less than 10. So now it's less than. So again, A or T N must be less than 10. Don't forget that. So then it's this is less than 10. You just, you're going to just work out um, this formula. You have A, you have R, you have N minus 1. You don't know that. Remember, this is now inequalities. So I put lock on both sides. Now, if you put lock on both sides, you must now check. As soon as you see, Okay, put that in front. As soon as you press it on your calculator and you see that it's a negative because it's inequalities, remember the, the chapter 3 and 4, the sign must swap because you're dividing by a negative. And then you just do that and now you will just say what term will be less than, so it's 8.21, so it's bigger than 8.2, so it will be the ninth term. Okay, so let's just look. Um, I want you to do try now. It's actually just here. 51.
Okay, and you can stop again the video and continue it as soon as you are finished. Okay, so let's start with number one. The first three terms of the sequence, okay, so let's write it down. It's 1, 2, 8, 64, 32, 1, 2, 3. Find the smallest value for which the nth term is less. So in this case, Tn must be less than 0 0.8. 0, 4. Okay, so if I'm starting there, I'm just going to say, okay, the value of A is 1 to 8. The value of R, don't forget, this is term 1, this is term 2, and this is term 3. So the value of R is T2 divided T1, which is 64 divided 1 to 8, which is a half. Okay, so um, so I know this Tn and I know I must find the value of n, which is less than 0 0.04. Okay, so if I'm going to do that, so find the first three, find the smallest value of n for which the nth term is less, so it's the n, it's not sum. So I'm going to just say Tn, I'm back at Tn, what is the formula? Can you remember? So Tn must be less than 0 0.04. But can you remember the formula of Tn? It's A or N minus 1. So in, I'm going to put this um, A or N minus 1. In the place of A, it's 1 to 8. In the place of R, it's a half n minus 1, 0 0.04. I divide by 1 to 8. I divide by 1 to 8. So I get a half. n minus 1 is smaller. Now if I divide and I can press my fraction, it doesn't matter, you can leave, but I just had it now as 1 over 3 to 0, 0. Okay, take logs on both sides. Oh, this is my thing. N minus 1 and log 1 over 3, 2, 0, 0. Okay, and now note that means dividing by a negative number. So first put it in front. So it's going to be N minus 1 log a half then I divide log a half I divide log a half and I'm moving up so as soon as I divide by a negative don't forget what must happen the sign must change and if I press this on my calculator I'm getting 11.6 so I take it over, so it's 11.6 plus 1, so n is bigger than 12.6. So it must be bigger, so therefore n is equal to 13. So the 13th term will be less than 0 0.04, and you can test it. You can work out T13 to see if you are correct.